If you're like me and you use your Xbox One remote to game on Windows 10, you might be causing your PC some potentially horrendous FPS lag. I'm going to show you three super simple ways you can fix it, so stay tuned. Be a beast with Maw Energy. Formulated to give gamers an edge over the competition, Maw gives you energy and focus without the crash. With flavors like Cherry Limeade, Blue Raspberry, Fruit Punch, Watermelon, and Rip Harambe, you'll be on your A-game but still not sure if Maul is for you? Try a free 60 serving container of your choice and just pay shipping and handling when you follow the link below or use the code MAW10 at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. All right, so it's time to get to the subject matter at hand. You just connected your Xbox One controller, so you hop in an online match and then your PC slows to a crawl and you're lagging all over the place. Now you know it's not your internet speeds, but now your teammates are cursing you out because you're feeding the other team kills. Now I'm talking to you, the guy who just quit his game and is now scouring the old Google machine trying to find answers on why your PC's running like a piece of shit. Your problem could be something as simple as this. And if it is, today I'm gonna show you three super simple ways you can fix it and get your PC running back to normal. The first thing you can do is plug your controller into your PC by using a micro USB cable. Now this method has been known to fix the issue entirely, but it doesn't work for everybody. In fact, when I tried it, it only improved the issue slightly, but it did not fix it overall. Now when you watch the FPS counter while I have my controller wired, you'll see that it seems to be a little more stable. I wasn't getting the constant FPS drops I had before, but every so often I would still get some stuttering that made things play uncomfortably. Now if wiring your controller didn't work, you could purchase a Bluetooth dingling, <laughs> I mean dongle, and specifically the Xbox branded one if you're looking to avoid any unforeseen issues. Now I personally do not own one, and I was not about to purchase one for this video, but this does seem to be the method that is working for everybody online. Now they run between $29.99 and $40 US dollars over on Amazon, but if you don't mind switching to a wired controller, you could also purchase a wired Xbox One controller that works on Windows 10 as well, for cheaper than the officially licensed Bluetooth dongle. I'll leave a link to one by PowerA in the description below. The last thing you can do is ditch that controller altogether, and switch the keyboard and mouse. If you're trying to get the smoothest gameplay your setup can produce, then switching is your best option possible. This is the route I went with, and if you're used to playing on controller like I am, then learning keyboard controls is gonna take a little bit and it's gonna be a little bit tougher. But I can confidently say that since I have switched to keyboard and mouse, I haven't had any issues with my frame rates since switching. Hopefully this video saved you from swapping out components needlessly. And now you and your PC are running as smooth as Stanley Tucci's forehead. Let me know which of these work best for you in the comments below. I'm Chrome Viper and I'll see you in the next one. If you're like me and you use your Xbox One remote to game on Windows 10. Shit. If you're like me and you use your Xbox One remote to game on Windows 10, you might be causing your PC some potentially hazardous say shit. This horrendous, 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 horrendous. The first thing you can do is plug in, uh, f shit.